since our GPS signal is successfully received from the board, and we have also tested the LoRa uh, module is working as well. Okay, so right now that we need to upload our official board to uh, official code to our board and that you communicate with the, the MQTT broker then uh, we will use MQTT FX to catch the data okay so a few steps that we will do uh, later that we will download the code from github my folder and I will explain a little bit about the code and I will upload the code to link it one board and we will test the code and uh, the last step is to remove the cable and switch and that it run independently okay so let's do it let's go to github there will be github.com okay in the github that we search link it one GPS LoRa okay so you will see link it one LoRa GPS tracker under how when folder okay so that's do it as you can see that uh, currently I put a 1.3 over here dot ino is a Arduino code as well so you can download here and unzip it in your local computer or you can enter to see the source code over here so let me explain a little bit about my code here is a statement here is the sample data that we expect to receive as you can see that uh, in the complete message will include a MAC address remember this number is what we uh, we can see from our uh, physical module the data data right here is a GPS data that I encoded and uh, 640 is a hex code of the bat battery uh, status as well so that will be the format it's uh, the format is a JSON format that we uh, expect to receive okay as you can see that uh, in this code you don't need to change anything as default okay that means there is no user credentials okay and because the authorization management is on server side okay so you don't have to do that locally that's the beauty of uh, uh, of the LoRa module okay and here are some libraries I won't explain and GPS part and here are some GPS conversions okay I won't explain in detail the only purpose is to make our GPS uh, data become integer but we have to offset the data at the no wrap later okay so uh, here is the, the way that we you know uh, consolidate all the data into uh, 80 command 22 bits okay so okay and okay and one more is about GPS over here okay 
uh, you can see that is uh, 680 seconds. That means that uh, in case the battery run out, I mean, no, I mean, uh, I set 80 seconds for maxima timeout time. Okay, if uh, if the device cannot well locate the GPS signal, that means that uh, if I don't do that, the device will keep searching. Okay, even that is uh, you know using battery power, so the battery power will run out very easily. So you can set it longer or shorter. It's up to you. Okay, so uh, let's move to, here are some settings about the G sensor. Okay, so you can change it or leave it. And uh, the most important part is this part. Uh, in this device I designed, there are two ways to trigger this GPS action. Uh, the number one is by the G sensor. Okay, so I set uh, 60 seconds uh, over here. That means the first trigger is is by uh, trigger G sensor by G sensor for power serving purpose. Okay, so it will allow only one update within 60 seconds to prevent frequent unintended movement. Okay, so uh, you can change it to longer time or shorter, it's up to you. And here is a regular frequent, uh, not frequent, regularly update. I set a uh, one hour, 60 minutes. Okay, so you can change it later. That the only purpose is for, you know, uh, power saving purpose. That means when the device is not in motion, say at night, it's not necessary to send data all the time. Uh, but we still need to get the server or our you know user to know the device is still alive. So uh, that we will set. I will set only one hour to to rep that the device to report the location one package per hour. So that is the way, uh, that is the, the part that we set these parameters. So you can change it on your own, okay? Or you can follow my default, okay? So that's just upload the code to our device, okay? Uh, for me, that I will click row file so I copy the code. I assume that uh, you have your ID ready, so you can copy the code to your local computer and ready for upload. Okay, so let's go. Let me open up my device. Okay. As you can see that uh, my device is connected to the the board already. Okay, here's my LED indicator and G sensor. Also the antenna. Okay, so let me upload it. Let me put it here. Okay, this code, uh, this source code is not long, but it includes uh, many libraries. So it usually take a little bit longer time. Let's wait. Okay, the first sound, and we expect second sound. So it would 
uh, it says done uploading. Okay. At the same time, that we need to have our broker to broker to catch the data from the server. So we just uh, ignore this one first. Okay. Okay. So later, if we trigger our device, that means that data will the device will send the device will send the data through uh, will receive the GPS data from the antenna to the board then it will transfer the data through LoRa module to the server okay but remember that our device is triggered by G sensor over here. Okay, and if if I trigger this, that means the LCD will flashing to search the GPS signal. Okay, and remember this code include a lot of uh, libraries, so I would suggest that you wait about one minute to that the device to you know boot up okay so uh, let's try if that is working now okay if that is already ready then when I trigger this when I touch this the LCD will be freshing okay as you can see that uh, the LCD is freshing now okay when it freshen and become very fast, that means that uh, it got a signal now. Okay, so let's come back to our desktop to see if that got uh, the signal. Okay, we got a package over here. As we can see that, uh, okay, it's zero zero zero. That means that uh, it has not got uh, the GPS location yet. Okay, so we have to we have to trigger again. Okay, remember that we set one hour, uh, one minute. Okay, so we have to wait a little bit longer. Okay, so that uh, the device search the GPS signal. Let's hope you can receive the GPS correctly. Okay. Okay, so we got the, the second second package now. So let's come back to the desktop. Okay. Okay, as you can see that I got a second uh, data data package now. Okay, so you can see the number is no more zero zero zero. It includes a uh, number over here. That means that uh, uh, here are GPS uh, GPS uh, signal uh, data over here. Okay, six forty. 640 is a, a battery okay I will explain in detail later okay so that means that uh, our uh, device is already well set up okay okay so if the signal is uh, cor uh, correctly received then next step is that uh, we need to let the device run independently. That means the power supply uh, by the battery. Okay. So next, that we will. We are currently power supply by cable, as you can see that. Okay. So the you can 
uh, see there are two switches one is this one is this okay so we are gonna switch this switch okay to the battery supply to the battery supply so we will sub, uh, switch from left to to right okay here okay so we will do that the same okay so we have switched our switch from left to right okay so when we do that we can unplug okay we we'll see a sound that means it's already uh, supplied uh, by power supplied by our battery okay so it is running independently now okay so we can move it to outside for better GPS signal okay so let's try to fire another signal okay as you can see that is uh, fresh now let's come back to desktop we can expect a message number nine okay as you can see that is already has a signal right now 